All right, Peter, I want to show you a quick example of uh, eternal DB on the front end. Um, let's go over the basics real quick. So as you know, uh, we have these review models. We have all, well, all these models. Um, we have a review model. Uh, we have the keys, which uh, you had already put there. We have types, which I added. Uh, these types match up with the keys, so the version ID is an integer, this date is a date time type, subject is a string, text is a string. Um, and uh, this code gets translated into an object by putting that talks directly to Web3. Um, what eternal.js does is then take, th take that, uh, I guess, riff on it, um, and create a new class that represents what each of the, um, that represents items that are within the model. So for instance, a, a review model, excuse me, would represent reviews. So you have multiple reviews, the review model holds multiple reviews. So, um, on the front end, then, we can go like this. This is just the DAP Store front end. I'm just going to show you this example via the console, because that's the easiest way for now. But let's uh, define some attributes. So um, with uh, the review, it needs a version ID, it needs a date. And actually, for to make this nice, I have it like that. So we'll just actually have it use a real date object. Uh, in JavaScript, subject, and some text. So great. What we're going to do next is actually create this review. So um, again, review model tran er, translates to review, and then there's this create method. So create passing uh, these attributes. And uh, that's going to get passed down to your code. And if everything goes right, it's going to return an object. And I'm, right now, I'm just uh, I'm just printing that object. Um, and if it errors, we'll, we'll see the error. So let's go ahead and do that. So it happens, it does its thing, this is a promise, create returns a promise. Uh, don't worry about this, this is um, the console logging stuff. But this is this console log right here. And uh, we get our model back. Notice I've already created more than one. It's a, it's a review and it has attributes and it has these attributes that we talked about. Now, the uh, the way this works is that this doesn't look like Web3 at all. It, it, or sorry, it doesn't look like the blockchain at all. You're interacting with an actual date object. You're inter interacting with a subject, or you're a string, another string, an, an integer. The, uh, it doesn't, it may not look like it, but that actually, by passing these attributes in, it went to the blockchain, saved that data, and then came out with this new object that represents that um, uh, that represents that um, review. So what I'm going to do to kind of uh, hit this point home is I'm going to completely refresh the page, which means uh, that thing in memory doesn't, you know, doesn't exist anymore. So I can't just access that data. The attributes, you know, I, that doesn't actually exist um, as an object anyway right now. But what I can do then, if if you remember, the ID for that one was three. Um, I can find uh, the review by its ID, um, and what this is going to do is it's going to log the review just for niceties, and then actually set it to um, this value called E on window. This just makes it easy for me to access on the next line within the console. So we're going to hit that, and it's going to do its thing, and notice that this is the review we get back. It has the attributes. So, and attributes, again, attributes doesn't exist in memory anymore, so it literally pulled that off of the blockchain. Um, so, uh, well, what can we do there? Now that we have the review, e, e is the same thing, remember. Um, I can do e.attributes. Uh, text. So the text of what we were talking about, I can say text equals, um, this is my review of the eternal db uh, relational database on top of Ethereum. Ethereum. This is the best thing since SHA-3 hashing. 
couple exclamation points. So this is a long string. Obviously, this string here would overflow uh, a 32-byte um, object, but Eternal DB handles that uh, nicely. So we set that text. If we look at e.attributes, uh, you'll see that it actually has that text, but it hasn't been saved. So if we were to if we refresh right now, uh, the data we get off the blockchain wouldn't have this long text that I put there. Um, and while I'm at it, let me do e dot attributes attributes dot subject equals my review of eternal db. Right, great. So we have that. Now what we do next is uh, let me get my little save code that I already had ready. Uh, here we go. So uh, E dot save, call the save, then we do something with the result. Save will ret return a Boolean if it saved or not. Um, it'll actually error if it uh, didn't save. But let's go and hit this. E dot save. Well, it's the first time I've had that issue. You big number is not a number. All right, so it looks like I wasn't saving the uh, arrays to eternal DB correctly. So when there was a long string, it didn't parse it uh, as it should have. But uh, now I'm going to do this again. So we go. Um, let's let's start this over just to make sure we know everything that's there. So create a new review. What did I do? Oh, attributes. Right. Uh, create a new review. Great. Printed out a lot of stuff out of that. Got an idea for. Cool. I'll do a refresh. We'll go ahead and pull four, which is here. Idea four. Great. And then I can say this review. Well, I already have it. No. Nope. Review right here. The review. Oh, right. So let's try it. Let's save it to this long text. Some of the text that's really long, yada, yada, yada. Long walks on the beach. Awesome. So then when we finally do, uh, when we save it, it saves, we get true uh, out of it. Uh, notice that you'll see this, this what, uh, what this is printing was uh, just for me to see exactly what this was breaking um, the string, breaking up the string into. So now when we completely refresh the page, get everything out of memory, we look at four again, you'll notice that uh, the text has been saved. So that's the main thing. Um, when there are no bugs like that, uh, you don't even have to think about the blockchain at all, which is pretty freaking sweet. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. This is just the first part. Um, but uh, I don't. I don't imagine there's more work on the abstraction than I, abstraction than I need to do. Uh, and uh, pretty soon the um, the app will get built. So uh, thanks a lot.